Hello, I'm Wayne Hoffman and I'm working for First Solar and permitting the Topaz Solar Farm. I'm here now to talk about why the Topaz Solar Farm is so important now. Californians made it clear they want renewable energy through the defeat of Proposition 23 and the support of AB 32, which supports California's goal to get 20% of its energy from renewable sources by 2010 and 33% by 2020. To meet these aggressive goals, we must develop solar farms like the Topaz Project with size and scale to meet these needs. In California, we need it all. Rooftop solar, wind generation, and larger solar farms such as Topaz to hit these goals. One source of renewable energy alone is just not enough. In 2008, California imported 18% of its electricity from coal. As you can see, coal-fired generation has the largest carbon footprint, contributing significantly to both climate change and air quality. Before I wrap up, just a word about how the Topaz project ended up in this location. Back in 2006, we sat down with California state maps and crossed out all of the areas with fog, hills, sensitive resources, and population cores. This was the ideal spot in PG&E service territory after looking at the entire state. The northern part of the Carissa Plains was selected after an extensive review of the climate, topography, proximity to existing transmission lines, current land uses, and environmental sensitivities of other potential sites in California. Topaz is sited largely on disturbed farmland in an agricultural portion of the plains and would occupy less than 1% of the total Carissa Plains area.